On this video, I will be doing some practice problems for the ionic compound naming video that I didn't get to 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 do some practice, some some more practice, so you can so you so you can see the the difference, not just one one compound. So let's try Cu two O P P three N two and S N S two. First, I'm gonna I'm going to do them in the stock system, and then I'm going to do them in the classical system, so you can tell the difference. So the first one, stock system. The first thing I told you to do was to write the name of the metal, copper. In this case. Now, you have to to see the charge. The two of the oxygen is here, and there's nothing here, which means that copper will have a charge of one. So you write it between parentheses in Roman numeral, and then it's oxygen, and you add the the, the suffix "-ide", so oxide. Now, Pb is lead. It comes from the word plumbus, so that's why it's represented as, B, as Pb in the symbol, but don't, doesn't really matter now. Uh, so, again, write the name of the metal, lead. You can see a 2 here, and a nitrogen, nitrogen's charge is 3, so there's no cancelling. So you write 2 for lead. And in this case, it wouldn't be oxide, it's nitrogen. So it'll be nitrogen with ide, nitride. And the last case, Sn is tin, so tin, oh, in parentheses. and you can see a 2 here and nothing here, but sulfur usually has a 2, and because it's an anion, it's negative. So, because it has a 2, that will tell us that the tin you had a 4 before, so it will have been something like this. 2 S4, and this cancels into Sn S2. So it will be 4 IV numeral, Roman numeral. And it's not nitride nor oxide, it's sulfur with ide, sulfide. Now, let's try doing it with the classical system. Erase this. Okay. So, the first one. As I told you before, the classical system uses the, the, the suffix OUS and IC in the cation. So for copper, it would, it would be, because it's just a 1, and copper has 1 and 2, the, the lower charge uses the, the suffix O-U-S, so it would be cuprous, and you use the same, for, for the anion, you use what you use in the stock system, the ID, so it would be oxide, here. Now for lead, like what happened to to iron before, the the the, the symbol starts with PB, so the symbol is PB. So as I told you before, it's, it comes from plumbus. In this case, the the two is the is the lowest charge, so it would be plumbus. And nitrate, like in the stock system. Mm. And well, for tin, again, so the symbol is an SN, so it comes from stannis, so because it is a 4, it is the highest, the, the greatest charge, so you, you call it stannic sulfide. Like I said in the previous video, Knowing, like, having to learn this these names can be a little bit annoying, so that's why this talk system is more commonly used, and that is the one I personally use. But it is up to you 
to to choose which system you want to use.